Thank you for coming to see me today about Connor's mathematics learning. I would like to give you an update on his latest achievements. We have recently been learning mathematics fractions and decimals. Now then, the current Australian curriculum achievement standard for mathematics fractions and decimals states that by the end of year five, students should be able to order fractions and decimals using a number line. This is something that Connor has achieved and has proven consistently that he's able to do. Within this curriculum, it branches off to the WA curriculum, who have, a set of, of, who have set a series of judging standards by which Western Australian teachers base our grades. So they provide a guideline for how, this, how to come up with students' grades. According to these judging standards and Connor's last report, he received a C grade for number and algebra. While he did consistently answer all questions correctly, he did not provide a justification for these answers. Now then, Connor is a very capable student who consistently strives for success across all learning areas and he consistently completes all the work provided to a very high standard. I am pleased to say that as of his latest assessment that I have brought with me, Connor has achieved a B grade and improved his skills of justification. We can see here on the first page that Connor has consistently answered all questions correctly when he's ordering his decimals from smallest to largest. He has provided a justification for all answers. However, he has only used one method. We can see that he used um, his place value um, and placed all his all the decimals into a place value column and in order and then explained because of this use of the place value column he knows which is smallest and which is largest so this has also showed a, an understanding of how to use a place value column successfully um, and showed his understanding of ones tens and hundreds when using decimals. You can see on the second page here um, in part C where it was also has to justify his answer, he has been able to place the correct fractions on a number line. He has showed his justification of this by using um, pie charts. He has put them in or placed them in order and circle and um, shaded out the correct portion of each um, pie chart. He has also um, wrote, wrote the equivalent fraction showing that he understands equivalence. He did really, really, really good job and achieved such a fantastic score. Now then. The next goal I would like to set for Connor <coughs> to strive towards is an A grade. To achieve this, Connor will need to demonstrate his skill of justification using more than one method. For example, if he was to complete this um, assessment again to achieve an A grade, he would have to again answer all questions correctly and then justify his answers. Um, for example, in the decim in part A, he has several questions asked um, in the same manner, in the same style. But in the just justification section, he'd use more than one justification method. Um, so maybe he'd use a pie chart, maybe he'd use graphs, maybe he'd use written wording. Um, it can be really anything. There's such a wide range of opportunities for him to use. Um, with your consent, I would like to help Connor achieve this goal by placing him in an extension mathematics program. This program would take him out of the classroom to work with a group of top achieving students that focus on taking their knowledge to the next level with a specific focus on justification. So justifying how he came up with his answers and how he knows his answers are correct. What are your thoughts on this?